Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we will be cleaning a messy data set. And so it is going to be one of the projects for our data science portfolio. So I've gathered the data from Kaggle. I will up supply this link in the description of this video. And what we are doing is we are going to utilize the training set portion of this Titanic data set. So this is the Titanic data set and we are going to be doing an exploratory data analysis. This is where the data is kept. And we're going to just download the train.csv. You see that we are downloading this here. So essentially, we are going to be looking at data about the passengers aboard the Titanic and including whether they survived or not and what metrics around that will support if they survived or not, or what correlations we can see based on that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just pointing to the pathway in which and where my data lives. We are calling the data frame, we are holding it in the DF variable, and we are reading in the train.csv file. And now what we're doing is we are calling the first the first five rows of our data set and we are just taking a look at that as well as determining what the shape of our data set is the dimensionality how many rows and how many columns this data set has so we see that it has 12 columns and 891 rows and we are also looking at the info that info we can see what data types we can see if there are non-null or, or null values we can also see the names of the columns as well as how many rows and columns there are so this is good for taking a bird's eye view and just seeing the data types this describe df.describe this is giving a summary statistics of all the columns that contain numerical data and so we are looking at this here this gives a nice summary it tells us the count the mean the standard deviation the min and max values as well as the percent quartiles and now we are checking if we have any null values and we want to create a heat map that will show us that so this is pretty awesome we can actually visualize whether or not we have null values or not. And we see just by looking at the values without even looking at the visualization that the age column as well as the cabin column have null values. And then we see when we look at the visualization that reflects that. And I just wanted to also bring up, so when you look at the df.info, we can also see, right? If you look at the values, age and cabin, it's showing the values are a lot less than the total of 891 signifying that there probably are no null values and now what we need to do is we're looking at whether or not the passengers survived or not so how many survived and how many did not survive so we're using zero as signifying did not survive one as signifying as did survive and now we're going to look at a count plot because we're further segmenting it by the gender of who survived and not breaking it down by the male and female so we're now looking okay how many males survived and how many females survived and now we are also doing another count plot and this is all from the seaborn library and we are looking to see what the based on the class right so first second and third class who survived and who did not survive so it looks like if you were in class one that you had a higher chance of actually surviving this is uh, first class versus like third class and now what we are doing is we're looking at distribution of age we're looking to see and we've got the bins here that's the intervals and we're looking to see what the distribution of age is in our data set as well as the distribution for the fare and now we're looking to see we're looking at the siblings and the spouses aboard so if the passengers had siblings or spouses what is the distribution or what is the count of that so essentially we are looking at the counts of observations in each category in each categorical bin using bars and the SIBSP is denoting the siblings and the spouses that a passenger has aboard 
And so with this graph, we are addressing the missing age data and we're filling in the age data. Uh, we're filling the missing age data with the mean age of the passenger class that the person belongs to. And that was in that script here. And this is the output of that. This is also showing a box plot showing the distribution based on the class. And then you see the outliers are those little dots that are coming from the tail ends of the box plot. So essentially this segment has two main parts, visualization as well as data imputation. And with this line of code, we are actually creating or deriving a new feature. We're creating a feature that denotes if a person was alone or not. And so with this, we can see that the there's a significant number of those who traveled alone we can see that they actually did not survive if they did not if they traveled alone you're, they were more likely to perish and not survive um, that's that's what this is showing here in this count plot and then we have a overall summary our interpretation is that the data set comprises passenger details from the Titanic and includes demographics and travel details. And our main objective was to understand the data and derive insights, especially regarding factors that might influence survival. We can see that more people perished than survived and females had a higher survival rate than the males, as well as passengers in the first class. They had a higher survival rate compared to those in second and third class. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not hesitate to subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you on the next video. You guys have a wonderful week.